industry for both movies and video games called Plugged In. Okay. And you can actually see the content in a lot of video games and movies, what's in them before you let your children play. And what I recommend, if you don't want to play them as a parent, if you, want, if you allow your children, first of all, to play video games, sit down there, sit next to them and play with them. My dad didn't like the video games I played all the time, but he was always there. He sat by me and he made sure he knew what was going into my mind. Wow. Eric, Eric, let me jump in on this because you know you made a point of there may be games that your children are playing that you don't have a clue about. Right. The one that he just brought to me that blew my mind, you're a preacher, you're preaching, somebody kills your brother. And so now you go out to kill people because they are beyond salvation. And when you get in gun battles and you're overwhelmed, you break out your weapon, the Word of God. You start reading from the Word of God. The people get overwhelmed, they put their guns down, they start listening to you, they start feeling remorse. Then you pull out your gun and you kill them. The you message is their parents have got to wake up. This is no longer just, uh, you know, like we were talking about Paul. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. No, no, no. This is preaching. And if 2,888 out of 3,000 studies show that television, television and movie violence is impacting younger generation, TV is passive. Video game, you're in it. You're immersed in it. You become that the character. So true. We've got to wake up.